What's up? I'm Noelle at Noelle's Notions, and this is Fame by the Flame with Felix Cartel. Hey. So, Felix. Yeah. You were just here in SAC and performed at This Is Midtown. Yeah. How was that? It was really awesome. Yeah, you guys, um, I don't know, street parties in the day are sometimes a little bit of a gamble, but it just <laughs> turned up way harder than I expected. <laughs> well, so good. Well, I'm glad that we could uh, show up for you. I yeah. mean, you killed your set. The I crowd the was going wild. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I felt the love out here, so it's good. it's good for like a first time in the city to feel yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, so when's the last time that you've been to SAC? I don't think I've ever played here. Oh, wow. Okay. So for those of you who missed it, tough shit. You got to come back for the next one. <laughs> so, um, you know, your new song, You Get What You Give, um, you definitely gave us a lot last night. Um, you want to tell us a little bit more about that song? Uh, yeah. So, um, I mean, it's kind of like a rework of a, like a old nineties kind of rock song. So okay. I just kind of flipped it just cause it's one of my favorite songs and I don't know, I've seen, I feel like a few DJs have been flipping like old R&B and old mm -hmm. hip hop tracks and I didn't really grow up in that world so I was thinking what's the thing that I could flip that's more genuine to me and yeah. that kind of era of rock music was really important and crucial to me so gave it a shot. They say like don't fuck with the classics but <laughs> whatever. Well you, did, you mixed it up and you mixed it right yeah, so it you. was good. <laughs> um, and you know speaking of remixes, I know you had one with uh, Zed and Alicia called Stay. Yeah. Um, so, you know, tell us a little bit about that, where we can find it. Yeah, it's just on my SoundCloud um, and just on YouTube and stuff. So, uh, yeah, I'm pretty good friends with, with Zed, so he's just sent me over the parts and said, if you want to mess around with it, do it. Cool. So it's just like super organic and just something casual and fun, yeah. Awesome. Well, shout out to Zed then. Uh, that remix is killer. I know you do a lot of collaboration with um, artists. I know you were recently uh, with Toki Monster in Vancouver. Right? Um, yeah, it was at her show. Like this, yeah. Yeah, yeah, checking her out, yeah. Yeah, she puts on a really good show. I saw her yeah. at a Coachella. Yeah, she's awesome. Yeah, she did a, um, she remixed one of my singles like way back in the day. So oh, okay, we cool. like met through that and just kind of every like once a year we kind of like catch up. Going through Instagram, I see a lot of photos uh, with Weekend Workouts. So what, yeah. what's that project? And um, So that's like a, a podcast that I've been doing um, okay. for five years now. Wow. It's crazy. <laughs> um, yeah, so basically, like, it started, um, when I first started, like, making music and DJing, people kept asking me to make them playlists for the gym, and I was like, <laughs> they're like, you make, you yeah. choose music, right? And I was like, uh, I guess, and, um, so it kind of, like, I thought that, you know, working out and, like, dance music go really well together. Oh, yeah, so, yeah, cardio. Um, <laughs> kind of, like, branded it that way a little bit, and, yeah, I've been doing it ever since, and been really fortunate to have, like, lots of great guests. So. Cool. And, yeah. um, you can find The Weekend Workout, um, through Instagram, which is attached to your Instagram. And yeah. And what's your handle? Uh, just at Felix Cartel. Pretty easy. You can yeah. Google him, you guys. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he, then, he's on all platforms, yeah. so. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, The Weekend Workout is on SoundCloud and iTunes. Cool. Yeah. Okay. I know that you have a show coming up in Friday in New York. Yeah. So tell us a little bit about that. I know the fans are pumped and excited for you to show up. Yeah. So it's the next show on my summer tour. And um, yeah, I've played in Webster Hall a few times now. And it's like one of the best venues, I think, in the U.S. So cool. It's like just about <laughs> that like iconic, like they have the marquee and everything mm -hmm. and all like the classic like venue vibes that you think of when you grow up like wanting to play venues. Really? Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> <laughs> well, shout out New York. I uh, expect uh, Felix on Friday. Cool. <laughs> and so speaking of venues, where is your favorite place um, that you've performed this far? Um, I like, like for me, like the most special places are places that I never thought I would go. To okay. Play. So like I played a show in Kenya once. And that was oh, really wow. Great. Yeah. That's awesome. So I don't know. I just never thought music would take me somewhere like yeah. that. So yeah, it's pretty crazy. Cool. And so you said you've been doing the weekend workout for about five years. So yeah. what first uh, sparked your interest in music and when did you start? Uh, I mean, I grew up playing in bands in high school, like okay. punk, like shitty punk bands. <laughs> like, so bad. Uh, I was terrible at singing, but I tried. Uh, and then kind of like when those bands sort of split up and went our own ways, um, I just kind of like started messing around with, with like software, making okay. electronic music. And yeah, I just... It was like became my outlet for like when I didn't feel like studying in college, basically. Oh, cool. Yeah, and then okay. kind of like sort of took over my studies, and yeah, like, then I didn't have time to study and just yeah, kind of kept you're you're it. getting paid and flying jet setting, so I wasn't getting paid, <laughs> yet, but I was definitely flying. <laughs> definitely flying. <laughs> yeah. Um, so do you have any uh, pro tips out there for people who are just starting out? You know, like any programs you suggest or? I think like I don't think it really matters what program you use. I think people get caught up a lot on like the details, and I think rather than 
worrying that you're using the right program, yeah. just like find one thing and just stick with it because they all like essentially do the same thing. All right. With your summer tour, mm -hmm. what where else um, are your destinations? Like what's on your map? Um, I do uh, Colorado after New York, and then I do Montreal, Chicago, and then I close it out. We'll close out the month in my hometown in Vancouver. Okay, cool. On, on Canada Day. Oh wow! <laughs> Very so crazy. hashtag Canada Day. <laughs> what is the feeling that you get right before you perform? Uh, I still get really nervous. Every you still really nervous. Yeah, I think, um, but I think nervousness is good because it means you care. Yeah. Yeah. So. Well, I, I think it means that you know you have a high expectation and you're kind of yeah. unsure if you're going to fulfill it, but you know you never disappoint. Yeah. I mean, at the end of the day, like it, it, I think it's the crowd is really what makes it. It's not me. Like I'm just playing music. Anyone can play music. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, speaking of crowds, you had some really loyal fans. I know some people for uh, the nine one six show drove up from Reno. Yeah. Um, so tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, it feels cool. Like um, just people I recognize from social media that like keep responding and interacting with all my stuff. So it feels cool when you sort of like get to know the people that are listening to music. Yeah. It feels like they're your friends, not like your Yeah. Friends. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. And I know you sold out, right, of your Faking It hats. Are you going to get any more? Can the fans <laughs> expect to buy some uh, more swag from you? I don't know. Like I like doing it in like limited runs. Oh, okay. <laughs> like an artist, right? Like one of three hundred. Yeah. I don't know. I kind of feel. I don't know. Like I might do new colors or something. Okay. But I kind of like keeping the ones that are sold out. Like right. sold out. Yeah. yeah. Well, look out for that, guys. His uh, items go quick. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the faking hats went real quick. So. <laughs> um. So I just am really curious. What is your favorite song of yours? My own song. Your own song. <laughs> uh -huh. Um. It's tough. Uh. Probably. Like drifting away, I think. Okay. Yeah, just basically like I've written three songs with Ophelia now, mm -hmm. so faking it, new scene, and drifting away, and yeah, I just she's like my favorite person to write with because we oh, just awesome. we just get along really well and we have like a similar sense of humor and similar writing style. So and she's like better at like lyrics than I am, so she brings that. She to compliments the table. you. Yeah, and I don't. It just feels like very collaborative, and it's always like really mellow. We just like sit on the couch with a guitar and just figure it out. So, cool. Yeah, super simple, but. Yeah, so I think that one, I wrote it in, like in the summer of last year okay. uh, when I stayed in LA and we just like, it was like the hottest day of the year <laughs> yeah. and I think that's why it's called Drifting Away. It's like we were dreaming of like, you know, like, <laughs> yeah, like in a cooler a climate possibly, but yeah, it was just like, it was like a really chill day and it just turned out really good. So. Well, you always turn out really good music and Thank shout you. out Ophelia, uh, many more good things to come. Hey Ophelia. <laughs> <laughs> um, so can we expect any more collaborations in the future? Yeah, I have. Um, I mean, I've sort of been like low-key working on an album, so I have a lot okay. of things done right now, like 15 or 20 songs that I haven't shown anyone yet. So. Oh, wow. It's good. There's lots there, and there's like pretty much collaboration in every song. So. Cool. Yeah. Okay, so more to come. You guys look out for those uh, collabs. I know you have some remixes uh, with Get What You Give. Um, tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, so um, it's like a three-remix package, and um, they're kind of all a little bit different. One guy named Shipwreck, he's like an up-and-coming yeah. like, younger dude. Um, Shout out Shipwreck. <laughs> yeah, and then these guys from Canada called uh, Van Rip and DLMT, and they did one together. It's kind of like a Deep House one, and I cool. played half of it last night. It always works really well. And then a guy named Bobby Love, who just is kind of like a techno yeah. one. So <laughs> it's cool. It's like the pack's really varied, and they're all like really different, but they all complement the original really well. Yeah, well, I really like that uh, you work with a lot of different artists to kind of make your own sound unique and uh, blend with theirs really seamlessly. Yeah, I feel like collaboration is like, yeah. that's how you make good shit. Well, you know, that's <laughs> what uh, we do here. We're trying to just build community. So that's all I can do. Yeah. <laughs> so um, as an artist, you know, I noticed your tattoos and that you got yeah. some new ink. You want to show it off? <laughs> yeah, okay. I got, basically, uh, there's this guy named Jonathan Montalvo, and I've been following him on Instagram for a while. He's from Puerto Rico, and... I like just missed him in New York the last oh. time I was touring there, and then I saw he was in San Fran, so I flew down a day oh, early wow. and just like took the train here yesterday. Uh, yeah, so he did this like Panther. <laughs> so, Good right. work. Yeah, Good work. I'm free stokes. <laughs> Your ending song last night was Britney Spears. Yeah. <laughs> so obviously a big fan of her. <laughs> yeah, I love that song. <laughs> I don't know if I can like love her entire catalog, but I do love Britney. Britney? She's the artist I grew up with. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. 90s baby. Yeah, well, 80s baby. 80s baby with <laughs> 90s influence then. Yeah, yeah. 90s so, child. <laughs> <laughs> so who else are your big influences then? Uh, well, I don't know if Britney Spears is an influence, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> okay, 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 okay. I guess, uh, I guess, uh, who, um, who, whose music do you, um, like, whose music do you admire then? Um, I like people that wear, like, 
like multiple hats. So okay. like people that do like lots of different things. Like I, I mean, well initially like I love the Beatles for that reason because like all their production throughout their career is really different. But um, like currently like I like really respect people like Pharrell and stuff. Yeah. Because they just, they like jump in different scenes and I feel like they just have fun with it. And that's yeah. like what it should be. Yeah. People get too serious sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> they do, they yeah. do. Well, and music is art, it's supposed to be fun, right? <laughs> yeah, totally. And I love, like, a lot of the up-and-coming dudes, like, like Jai Wolf and, like, Hotel Garuda and, like, Louis the Child. Like, I love all, what all those guys are doing, so. Cool. As a, the younger guys, they inspire me. That's awesome. Yeah. So, um, what is the most important part to you in creating music? Like, what is something that you kind of hold to a standard above all else? Um, I guess I sort of just wanted to make songs where like if people were still listening to them in 10 years okay. then I, like that's the accomplishment for me like I yeah. I'm not trying to like make a song that like is a flash in the pan like yeah. it's like cool for three weeks that doesn't really interest me so yeah people are, like are still like rocking out to that song or like it's like meaningful to them in some way like down the road or like they like have a memory about yeah. it. That's, that's cool to me. Yeah. Well, I know that you uh, definitely made a mark on a lot of people last night um, out here in Sacramento. Uh, people remember for generations. And if you missed it, you got to catch us uh, next second Saturday in July 8th. So Felix will unfortunately not be here. He'll still be on his tour. But <laughs> Well, thanks for having me. Yeah, of yeah. course. It's always a pleasure. Cool. All right. Well, uh, this is Noelle at Noelle's Notions with Fame by the Flame and Felix Cartel. Until next time.